Входи в бедро. И вот резким движением накручиваем его на плечо. This video will introduce you to the most important counter move. During practice, don't do it stationary. How do we grab this arm? I will not tell you, it's a secret. The most popular throws are forward going throws. Hip toss, ripping leg throw, over the back throw. And you should know how to counter those type of throws. And today, Yaroslav and me will show you Pasadka. We'll tell you how to do it, how to do it, when to do it, and main mistakes. Pasadka from the word Pasadic, which means to sit. You want to sit in backwards and slightly diagonally, but mostly backwards. Traditionally, I'll explain the footwork. Your working leg is going behind him, not in between, but in the back. We're blocking two of his legs. Not like this, but on the side of, its foot, of your foot. And hopefully your hip below his knee. If you stand too high, he can throw you. So slightly sl lower. To close the gap, two steps. One, two. And block his two feet, two legs, hands. You should load up his shoulder, make him heavy. You want to do it like this, with a high grip. His shoulder is under yours, and your elbow presses down and towards you. But don't lose his shoulder, don't have it popping up. If it pops, it's going to be a little bit harder to apply the throw. What about body? We want to rotate the body parallel to him. Your nearest ear to his chest. Ear to chest. And we combine three components. Feet, hands and chest. Like this. If you twist him sideways, sideways, he can apply inside trip. So therefore, apply pressure backwards. You have to spin him. Rock him, spin him. Back, forth, back, forth, spin. Towards you, showing you doing a hip toss. He's thinking you're going to be uh, doing hip toss. And he starts to straighten out. As he straightens up, we trip him backwards. You want to block his far leg, but if you can't, one leg will do as long as you put it sideways. He wants to do hip toss, everybody stiff arms, and you can do this throw as a follow up to a fail hip toss. Another option, I get the arm, two on one, it's our uh, signature move in our gym. I will not tell you how to do it, it's a secret. So you don't load his shoulder up in this option. You grab him slightly above the elbow and pull him down. So the shoulder gets loaded by your arm pull. I'm hanging on him. So I rock him, pull him down and trip. So we're wrestling, I rock him and apply the throw. Ear to chest, shoulder on his shoulder, another option to throw, it's effective option, not very known, you just gotta apply three rules, legs, body and arms, if it's hard to break the grip, you wanna show that you're breaking, but with a sudden move, you roll and hide your elbow. Elbow weave. And we just drop down. We just hang. And apply footwork.
Don't forget to rotate towards him. You can go from a from the far far long grip, apply your grip, and sit him down. Common mistakes. When should you not be doing it? When your partner is bent over. You think you can apply the pressure, but he will not do it. He, he will not go with it and he can counter you with his own hip toss. Make sure that he gets straight. Pull, threaten hip toss and then suddenly switch directions. Second mistake. Even if he stands straight and even if he leans back, but you are far away and you're not closing the gap with two steps and you start from far away like this I see the situations often and you can be countered with inside trip you'll fall down yourself another mistake if you don't load up the shoulder if you go under many people think they can sit somebody down you can but it's not very efficient and very hard you have to at least proverbially break his back so best is on top like this or two on one load up his shoulder with your weight another mistake when you do pasatka you don't turn your body and you fall like this and you fall first Quick guys can counter you and uh, pin you. So if I did not apply breaking balance, he can turn into me. So always do in movement, not stationary. Don't go like this. From stationary and do it. You have to move your opponent. So if the throw going backwards, you move him backwards from one end of the mat to the other. So I threw him, stood up, and let's go further. Maybe different option now. Move, throw. And so forth and so on, whole length of the mat. That's how you learn to work as you're moving. Situational, just like in wrestling. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found my advice useful. And thank you for communicating with me, answering my question. One more question. I have an idea to make video course, for example, Omlux. How to do it in details, how, when, why. And maybe next one for leg locks. Or maybe course about psychological preparation. So if this is something you're interested, let me know. I will get busy if you're interested in that course and we'll make it. I'll create it. And you can watch it anytime you want. Don't forget like, subscribe and share. Thank you and bye-bye.